Alright guys, time to make crimson powder. So, starting off the same way I did with the golden, 60-40 potassium nitrate and the vitamin C. But now I'm adding 1.8% of carbon and iron oxide. So that way, that's about, uh, for a 100 gram mixture, that's uh, 27, 28 grains. So, that's what I weighed out. There's my iron oxide powder. I just bought a little bit to start off with. Uh, we're going to cook it the same way. My plan is, once the main mixture here starts to turn a little bit yellow, that's when I'm going to add in the pigments, because once the pigments are in, you really can't tell when it's done. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. All right, guys, we are cooking. I just slap the thing on high. Uh, whatever temperature that is um, and I don't put enough water for the whiteness to disappear put too much water it'll just turn clear so um, I'm gonna just keep at it uh, I did not ball mill my powder because the whole point of this is to be easier if I'm ball milling my uh, carbon my charcoal then I might as well just make black powder so I did put it in a mortar and pestle. I don't know that did a whole lot, but otherwise it's just a rough grind uh, through my meat grinder, um, and then I sieve it in a little chunks I put through a coffee grinder. So definitely could be a lot finer. I don't know if that'll make a difference since you know when I make black powder, the whole thing goes in the uh, ball mill, and I really don't care if it's a little chunky. Um, so we'll see if it makes a difference in this experiment. All right, we'll check back later. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. It's about the consistency of ground beef. Looks like it, too. I wouldn't eat it, but it's definitely not hard like a rock. When I made the golden powder, it was solid. Pretty easy procedure. Uh, this one, I've been told, takes some practice, and it obviously does, but uh, Maybe because it has the carbon and the iron in there, it just doesn't get super hard. Or maybe I took it off the heat too soon. I don't know. But I'm going to let this stuff dry out. It kind of feels like my screen powder uh, when it's in this form. So unfortunately, we're probably not going to burn test it today because it is so soft and moist. But I'm going to let this dry overnight. I'll grind it. And... Uh, We'll see if it goes boom. Alright guys, it's just been, I don't know, 10 minutes. I just wanted to give you one last update. This stuff is starting to get nice and crusty. It feels almost exactly like my screened powder. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I have high hopes for it. I don't think I screwed it up as much as I thought I did. Um, the tip here, it is... Uh, hard as a rock on the tip of my stir stick so I have no doubt this stuff will get really hard um, overnight and uh, we'll test it out tomorrow and maybe if I can get away uh, we can uh, put it in a muzzle loader if the uh, burn tests look positive all right just another observation the crimson powder was not getting um, dry very quickly um, and when I put it in my coffee grinder it just made a crazy hard paste and it wouldn't crunch so I had to put it in the dehydrator for a few hours and now it makes a crunching sound now I will let you uh, hear that uh, so you know what I'm talking about so let's get that thing. you hear that crunch if you're not hearing that crunch, uh, you're just going to muck up your uh, coffee grinder. And the only way to get it clean was to put it in boiling water. So, uh, this stuff needs to go in the dehydrator. The golden powder probably will work even better now that it's uh, had a few hours in the dehydrator as well. So, we're going to do a few more burn tests and see how this pans out. Alright, another 7 cc's of crimson powder. This was made 24 hours ago and dehydrated for a few hours. Let's see if this does any better. Now keep in mind, 
even though that golden is fizzling, it's not contained in a barrel. Ooh, hey, that was a heck of a lot faster. I don't know if that's as fast as black. We're going to find out in a second. But as I was saying, I didn't want to talk through the uh, flash. Uh, sometimes, I mean, if you did that with Pyrodex, it would burn just as fast or maybe slower. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be powerful in a barrel. So we'll try that. But let's see how my extra special balsa powder does. Now I know for a fact that's fast, but we're going to look at it 